Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Today we're going to take a look and find out what your person is realizing about you. Um, so this is going to be a general read, so keep in mind, you know, if you pick a pile and it's not resonating, you can always take a look at another pile, or you can take a look at all three, and there may be messages in all three. Um, I will have timestamps below, and if you guys are interested in personals, all that is below as well. All right, we'll dive in with pile one. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. So let's take a look and find out what your person is realizing about you. So this will be for the current uh, the current time right now. Um, so this is timeless and it is general. So keep in mind if the cards are coming out and they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, followed by the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, pile one. Well, I do feel immediately uh, there may have been an ending here. Um, I feel like your person's like in this state of regret. And, and I know we don't have the four of cups or anything out or the five. Uh, but it just feels like they wanted to give you something and they didn't. And now they're realizing that you were their complete wish fulfillment here. Okay, you're the one that makes them happy. Um, and this is the hidden energy here with the nine of cups. So I feel like, you know, uh, for a lot of them, they really haven't told you this, uh, but for some reason, I'm just feeling like your person feels like maybe they dropped the ball in giving you some sort of offer, um, making things official, or for some of you, even expressing feelings at all. Okay, <laughs> let's start with the Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, yeah. They're definitely realizing that they took their sweet ass time here. Okay, <laughs> you know, it was like this thing, they knew who you were, they knew how, like, just into you they were and they failed to they failed to give this ace of pentacles you know so it's like a long time coming and for a lot of you it did lead to some sort of ending here between the two of you so pile one for some of you yeah you're not in contact with this person and they are realizing uh because because of you know their lack of action here or whatever happened um i just get like a lot of them kind of drop the ball you know they didn't come through like they should have and uh for some of them it's it's you know, a little too late, right? Uh, you know, for a lot of you, you guys have kind of um, resided to the fact of moving on. And um, this person is just now realizing, like, what did I do here? You know? Um, all right, well, let's find out what's wrong with that Ten of Swords. King of Cups, right. They, they didn't open up. This person didn't open up. For a lot of you, you guys ended up walking away here. And there was an ending, right? The whole time, this person knew that you were worth this Ace of Pentacles. And for a lot of them, they were just slow to act. You know, maybe they thought that you'd always be there, right? So none of them really made this, uh, any kind of bold movement here. That's what I'm getting. This person just sat with their feelings. And um, for a lot of you, they, they let you kind of walk away. You know, that's what I'm getting here. Nine of Cups. It's like now for some of you that there has been an ending. This person's realizing the depths of the feelings here, you know, and, and for me, the nine of cups here is almost like exploding from the inside out, <laughs> you know, realizing kind of like, oh, pile one, what did I do? You know what? And I'm just looking down. It's the tower for, <laughs> for the nine of cups. That's what I was saying. Yeah. It's a tower moment for this person. So pile one, they're, <laughs> they're realizing that you are complete wish fulfillment and that they should have done something sooner here. Okay, that's the gist of this pile so far. We do have the strength card at the bottom with the two of swords. Hmm. Yeah, you know this person's at a crossroads, it feels like. I mean, for some of you, you you have walked away and you've kind of moved on here. Um, this person's been holding back still. <laughs> you know, they're going through this tower. They're having all these realizations about you. And for a lot of them, they're still just sitting here. They're, they're just sitting here, you know. So... <laughs> It's almost like with the two of swords, they are at this crossroads. Do they come forward? Do they try to, you know, fix this with you guys? Um, because if they let you get away, they're just going to sit here and regret. And they're never going to, you know, these feelings are just going to stay there with nowhere to go, right? Eight of wands behind that, guys. Eight of cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is realizing now that they better say something. They better do something. There better be forward movement or you guys are, are gone, right? Like, I don't know, pile one. If this, if this doesn't sound like your situation, probably not your message today, but I think this is a pretty specific energy. So, um, all right, well, let's keep going with that Ten of Swords. There it is. There's, <laughs> there's that Two of Swords. There is a crossroads here. Um, you know, and it, it is almost to the point for this pile, I feel like for some of you, it is coming down to like, and you know, it's been coming on the collective if you follow the last few pick of cards here. Um, 
it's kind of coming down to decision time here for for a lot a lot of your a lot of your people out there um and they know like it's either it's either now or never like there's an ending on the horizon if they don't do something you know i would say for some of you pretty quickly here because i think a lot of you are already in that eight of cups um so yeah so they're realizing like what you know their their inability to express something here to give you uh something more solid here has put them at this crossroads, you know, that there could possibly be an ending and they don't want to lose you. I mean, here they're nine of cups. It's just, um, hmm. let's keep going and find out a little more about this ace of pentacles. Well, there it is. You know, it's the 10 of cups and it's like this person is realizing that you were the whole thing, the whole package here. I mean, it's complete wish fulfillment. We have the nine and the 10 and the ace. <laughs> um, I don't know what your person's problem was here. It's like, you know, they sat here in this nine of wands and they, and they just didn't hand this over, <laughs> even though they're just, you're, you're everything they ever wanted here. So again, you know, situation is going to be different for everybody as to why they have not done this. But from the cards here, they're realizing that they may have let the best thing that they ever came across go here, you know, because of their inaction. Nine of cups. King of swords. Mm, let me pull in that. Age of Cups. So this person was a little more stoic here, it feels like, where they were a little more guarded and they pulled back and they didn't really let you know that you were their Nine of Cups. I, they didn't take the action, right? So it is kind of like this. They, they've been thinking, they've overthought. And that's why we see the Two of Swords with the Ten of Swords. This person's like at their wit's end about what to do here. Uh, Page of Cups, they're like, you know, they want to follow their intuition. And that's why I feel like we have the King of Cups out here because it's like in their heart, they know what they want to do. I, you know, why they haven't taken the action here, I don't know. It's the wheel at the bottom and the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Well, it's, you know, it is that energy of like TikTok. That's what I'm getting from this um, with the wheel and the Ten of Wands there. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So it is that stop, go um, card in the light seers right with the with a stoplight on it and that's the energy i'm just getting from that where it is and then the lovers behind that right okay well it's like head over heart for this person you know but deep down they know exactly what you are to them and for a lot of them they just they just didn't do anything so they're realizing now i mean like oh it feels like it's coming down to crunch time for you pile one i don't know nine of wands let's see death and rebirth yeah mm. I feel like they know <laughs> they know they're realizing that there needs to be some sort of transformation in this connection here okay so they're fantasizing a lot about that at this moment here with the ten of cups um, and that ace of Pentacles so a lot of them are really trying to figure out how this is all gonna play out how do they go about doing this expressing stopping you guys from going here because for a lot of you it is that you've been waiting up here for a while and they know that Okay, they know. <laughs> um, and they're, you've just been waiting on something to shift here, right? Because I think you both feel it here. The Nine, Ten of Cups, and then the Ace of Pentacles. You know what this could be, and so do they. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's crunch time here for them, I think. Okay, King of Cups. There he is. Okay, we, we just saw that with the King of Swords. They know they need to give something here, and a lot of them they did not. They just didn't give the emotions, okay? They overthought this connection. They overthought how they were going to express these feelings to you, and they just, you know, they didn't do it. So that's that's the decision here, right? They're realizing there is a crossroads, okay? Uh, do they want this to end, or can they allow themselves to be vulnerable here and, and tell you <laughs> what you mean to them? You know, I don't know. I mean, can they? The King of Cups is, you know, he's very good at holding stuff back as well. If When he's paired with the King of Swords, I mean, you know, uh, there's a lot of love. But I think this person tends to let the brain take over here a lot in this connection, you know. So I don't know. Circumstances are going to be different for everybody. But this is definitely the energy here, Pile 1. And I think your person's getting some big realizations here about what you mean to them and the fact that if they don't act now, it could be over for good, right? Let's pull that death card. Yeah, it's the six of swords. So it's, it's something about moving things to calmer waters here because both of you want this complete happiness here. I mean, there is 
the energy for an amazing new beginning that your person is realizing. And, you know, I don't know what, you know, we do have fears. The moon's at the bottom of the deck with the sun. Okay, well, there's the uh, feminine and masculine here. Okay, so if you guys relate as counterparts, I don't know. It's very rare that these two come, come, you know, come together consecutively here. And I've shuffled this deck like a thousand times already. So, um, yeah, it is that. Okay, they've got to release fears. They've got to illuminate something for you guys. And there needs to be forward movement here. And that is complete death and rebirth of this connection. Something is happening here. And again, I feel like there's a shift. But, you know, it still, it still to me looks like they're just sitting here trying to figure this out. Okay, so they're going through this. They're having all these realizations here of what you mean to them. And they do know that um, I think something's going to have to be expressed. Ace of Wands behind that and the Five of Wands. So there is... Um, I think there's this internal thing for, for whoever this is here, you know, internal conflict about how to do this. Um, okay. And they know they want to, and they're realizing that something needs to change. Okay. Two of swords. The world, right. A cycle needs to end. Okay. The cycle of confusion. They realize that they've put you guys in a state of confusion and they themselves in a state of confusion as to what this is, where this is going. Yeah, cycle needs to close out on that. This person needs to, to open up. That's that's really what it is. It's the hanged man at the bottom and the eight of pentacles. Um, so the decision here is how to put in the work on this, right? Seven of pentacles behind that and the ace of pentacles. This person has thought about this for a long time. Okay? And then they it's a stop and go energy here. Okay, they get two steps forward and then they go three steps back, right? It is that, and they always known that they've seen this with you guys. Okay, so the realization is coming in and behind that Ace of Pentacles is the tower. Okay, you know, and so it ties us back to the, the Nine of Cups. This person is having epiphany after epiphany here. I don't know, they need to act and I feel like they're they're having that realization here. So for a lot of them, I think it is, um, <laughs> it's kind of coming down to the wire here. What's that Ten of Swords? I mean, I feel like I already know what it is, but we'll check, it's the Emperor. Okay. And the lovers and the three of wands. This person needs, uh, there's, listen, if they don't step up their game here and, and make a choice to, to tell you what this is, where this is going, to come forward here, um, to choose love, okay, heart over head this time, then yeah, there's probably going to be an ending because I think for a lot of you, you're tired of waiting, okay? Uh, the nine of swords and the magician too, by the way, behind that. This person's having all kinds of anxiety, trying to really figure out something <laughs> to get you guys from, from not walking away completely here, okay? So they are in their head, they are trying to like manifest something, but it doesn't seem to be working out the way that they want it to. So, you know, it's almost like what they're realizing now is that, you know, none of the ways that they've tried to do this are working. <laughs> they're actually just gonna have to give in and go with the flow here and, and <laughs> shed some light on feelings, um, you know, their intentions, all that good stuff, right? The stuff that you guys haven't heard. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, pile one. Well, pretty specific message. Love to hear if this resonated with any of you guys out there. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And, uh, if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye pile one. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to take a look and find out what your person is now realizing about you. Uh, so keep in mind, this is going to be a general read. So if the first few cards are coming out and they're not resonating with you, uh, definitely take a look at another pile. All right, let's go. Oh, goodness. We got the devil coming out. Okay. Capricorn energy for some of you. Death. Okay, so two major arcanas out here. Um, let's pull the middle. Eight of Wands. Well, Pile 2. Okay. Um, so I think your person is realizing here that there was some toxic stuff. I don't know if it was them. I'm sure it was, <laughs> you know, um, there's something here that kind of, I feel like may have, um, I don't know, put a wedge in this connection. It did something here, some, um, sort of behavior of theirs. I'm just going to leave it at that because it's going to be different for everybody. Um, and you will know what that is. Okay. I feel like it definitely put a separation between you guys to some degree, um, there's a need to transform this. Okay. So for a lot of you, yeah, there was an ending here because of this. Your person realizes that now, um, the, the hidden energy here is forward movement. This person wants to communicate something. What is it? Let's see. Eight of wands, <clears throat> 10 of pentacles. Hmm. 
Eight of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah, you know what? This person, I, I think for some of them, their toxic trait was being non-committal, being scared of, of commitment here. Um, this person wants to move things forward, okay? So whatever this is that they've done in the past here, uh, I think why we have the death card next to that devil is because this person has really seen the light here. There's something here where they want to transform this connection with you. They've thought about it. They've self-reflected here on maybe what what this devil energy was that was attached to them. Um, I mean, they see you as the Ten of Pentacles. It's four of movement. And then we have the Eight of Cups and the Hermit. So for a lot of you, it did take some sort of separation here for this person to wake up to what this what this was for them, okay? And what it was bringing to this connection, right? Um, <clears throat> for others of you, this person could be connected elsewhere. And um, there's something here about, uh, if that's the case for you, Pile 2, it's not gonna be for everybody, so don't take it if it doesn't apply. It's just the layer here. Uh, this person's realized that basically that, you know, whatever they're in is, is kind of toxic here, okay? They um, think about it ending. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. What's probably death? Wow. Okay. Third major arcana out and it's the star. It's complete transformation energy here. I don't know. I don't know what you guys did to, to this person pile too. It feels like whatever this energy they were operating in, it's completely changed here. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's all transformation. It's all forward movement. This person's like, it's like a 180 here. I don't, <laughs> it's just the vibe I'm getting here of the realizations of what they're having here. So again, for some of you, it did take you walking away and like cutting ties with this person for them to wake up. You know, I, I don't, hmm. let's keep going. What's wrong with the devil? Five ones. Yeah. So for sure. <laughs> um, you know, and that's kind of what I was getting. It feels like this is probably some sort of, could be a jealousy issue that they had going on. You know, um, it could be an internal conflict or whatever this was for them, this five of wands, which we'll clarify here in a second. It, it clearly ca caused some sort of conflict here between the two of you. Um, and I think it stopped forward movement in this connection. And I think your person realizes it was all on them. So pile two, uh, I feel like a lot of stuff is going on with them. They are trying to figure out how they can move this forward. For a lot of you, it's like, please stop, don't go. Like I, I, um, I want, I want it all with you, you know. But for a lot of you, again, and I was getting the vibe from pile from pile one, and I think it's just in the collective here. It's like for some of you, it's like, oh, it's a little too late, you know. Um, type of energy like for some of you it's like you have walked away uh, and and honestly it's like this person has done done a complete 180 because of that so I don't know what you did pile two but uh, you got this person you got this person upgrading here okay <laughs> all right what's the devil seven of cups they were indecisive here okay this person realizes that um they were indecisive. It caused conflict for a lot of them. I mean, some of them, you know, they just couldn't make up their mind. They couldn't come clean. They couldn't, they couldn't commit. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's going to be for some of you out there, but this also could be that they made you feel like an option as well, uh, which you're clearly not piled to. No. And so for some of you, that's the realization that they're having. And maybe they didn't see it. You know, maybe this person didn't feel like they were making you an option um, until now, until you walked away. Right. And, uh, and now they're starting to see the error of their ways here. Like, oh, well, I could see how pile two would feel like that. Um, they were just in this devil energy. And I think this person's starting to really, uh, reflect again and start to see where they, they dropped the ball here, what they contributed here to the dynamic of where this connection is currently with you. Um, yeah, they're, they're having a lot of, of wake up calls here as to what they did. All right. Death. Why is it here? Queen of Swords. Well, I'm not surprised, Pile 2. Not surprised that, that you are coming up as the Queen of Swords. They know they need to do something here. They have, um, and it's not like you guys wanted to. I feel like you guys felt this connection as well. You just wanted this person to to evolve with it, right? And for some of them, they, they just, I don't know, they acted immature here. I'm getting um, very indecisive. There's just this wishy-washy thing that I'm getting from this pile for this person. Um, I don't know. And that and that could be just, again, a fear of commitment or something like that. Not wanting to lose their independence. You know, I mean, for a lot of them, that's the case. Uh, Queen of Swords, though, but they know that, that they, that this, that this toxic, you know, 
indecisive energy here that they were in put you guys in the Queen of Swords, okay? It forced you to put up some kind of boundaries here with them. They know it's their responsibility here now, Pile 2, to come in and do something here, okay? It's a complete transformation, and that's what needs to happen if they want this to go the direction that they now see it going, which is to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So... Yeah, they've got to come do something. They they realize why you're sitting here and you're you're just looking off in the distance for your own ships to come in here. It's like I'm not, you know, I'm not I'm not going to deal with this anymore. You have your back turned to the 7 of cups and the devil. And it's like this person's like, "Oh, you know, and they definitely could be very charming. I am getting for a lot of you this person. Very charming and I think um, you know, it kind of played a part why you guys were so patient with them. Um when it came to their indecisions, you know? So at this point, it does feel like you have turned your back here and you're not putting up with this with this crap, right? So this person realizes that, pile two. All right, eight of wands, let's see. 10 of swords. <laughs> I mean, they don't want this to be over. It's very clear here, but something needs to change, okay? They don't want this ending. They don't want it to be over. They do want... To move this forward so for a lot of them they're they're going to be realizing that they need to rush in and stop you for because i mean the queen of swords isn't you know it's like i think for a lot of you you would be willing to give this person another go they just need to come in and um show you that they're willing to do it this time ten of swords let's see Ooh, it's the tower and the six of swords they feel you guys moving on okay uh they're having a tower here okay they're realizing that if this ends they're they're going to be devastated. They're going to live in regret for not doing what they know that they, they should have done. What they've been called to do here. Okay. Queen of Cups at the bottom and the Hanged Man. I feel like this person has a new perspective. And again, it's because some of you did walk away. Okay. So there were a lot of feelings always here for you. Whether or not this person was indecisive and, and expressed these to you or, you know, made you feel like an option. This person was always, they always had these deep feelings and, you know, I feel like they're getting a new perspective on that because of some sort of separation, some sort of, again, I feel like for a lot of you, it, there is some sort of separation. So even if you are in little contact with this person, things are not, basically, they're not the same as they were. So they want this back, okay? They're trying to, they know what they want. Now they just have to do it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, death is behind that, by the way, in the Knight of Cups. That's what I was saying. It packs up the whole read of this. This person is realizing that they need to come forward. It is on them to make something right. Otherwise, you guys are moving on. It's just the energy of this pile, pile two. So, um, all right, let's see the star. It's the lovers, yeah. I mean, faded connection, right? Faded connection that you guys knew the whole time. <laughs> this person, I think they knew. They just didn't, you know. They were, they were confused, right? They let the devil energy overtake. So that could be ego. I mean, that could be all that, right? And they felt it. And they now know <laughs> uh, because of whatever has happened here in the recent past between the two of you that um, there could be an ending if they, don't, if they don't get their ish together here and do something, right? Okay. All right. Let's do that five of wands. Why is it here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, for a lot of them, they breadcrumbed you. They're realizing this now. They're realizing they didn't give to this. Um, you know, that's the conflict. It's it's just, for a lot of them, they chose ego over, over you. Okay, so they're having these realizations. I think they're coming to grips with the fact that um, they're going to have to get real here. Okay, it's time to step up their game. Um, I think for a lot of them, they've been in this for a while here, and you guys have put up with it for long enough. Okay, so, you know, if they want this, it's time for them to to step up and bring something to the table other than just this wishy-washy bullshit, you know? All right, let's see that devil. Oh, we got three. Okay. Well, there's a there's ten of swords right off the bat, queen of wands, and the eight of wands. Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. The moon at the bottom and the seven of swords. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you know, this person knows they're they're real <laughs> they're realizing it's on them to make this right. They don't want you guys to leave. They know there's an ending on the horizon and it's probably for good because you guys are hot and you're gonna go off and find your own ten of pentacles if this person can't come in and tell you this. The moon and the seven of swords, they've been oh and we saw that Queen of Cups, and that's what I'm saying. We see how they feel. I mean it's complete 
it is is complete wish fulfillment on a soul level here for this person like you fill this person's soul whereas these 3d other things that they were focused on do not you know i mean they were giving to the wrong things it feels like for some of them i'm here and they had a group of friends and it was just that's why you know they just didn't give they didn't give like they should to this king of swords high priestess this person keeps all their feelings inside too i feel like for a lot of you yeah um <laughs> it was like the the feelings were really never I don't know, fully explained. And that was their indecisive stuff because they were there, but they just never fully expressed them here. And so they didn't know how is what I was hearing. This person really didn't know how to explain the depths of the feelings that they had for you. So instead of telling you anything, they just kept quiet for a lot of them. Okay. So no wonder, you know, and, and they are realizing why you guys are in the queen of swords. You want some clarity, you want some truth here. And that is what they're going to have to do in order to restore the balance here of this connection. You know, um, let's do the, ten we already did the ten of swords. Let's do the lovers. Eight of cups. I mean, they don't want to lose you. For a lot of you, you have walked away. And for some of you, you are back out there in the dating scene. Um, I think that's why they know they've got to do something here. I mean, they're just now having these epiphanies. Yes, that, that, that you're the ten of pinnacles, you're everything. And they really want, they want this with you and they don't want you to get away. Um, I do feel like for some of them, they are trying to figure out what to give to this because they do feel like competition is coming in. Okay. And they, they know they've got to give more than this page of pinnacles because this is a deep, they need to show you that they care and they need to kind of make up for what they've done in the past for not telling you things. Right. So, um, in order to stop you guys from walking away, I feel like this is, this is what it's on this person. Totally. It's the five of cups at the bottom, by the way, and the 10 of swords. Oh, listen, pile two, this person's in their feels about you. They don't want you to go They're They're almost to the state of feeling very disheveled, depressed here. Uh, the five of cups is one of the cards that ends the separation phase. So for a lot of you who are resonating with this pile, um, your person almost had to feel this, right? They had to feel you walk away and they had to feel like what it was going to be like for you not always to be there for them and for you not to be patient and for you not to keep waiting right hmm. queen of pentacles in the world it's like you guys close out a cycle here whether that's on your own or in this connection there's a cycle that's closed out they feel it so they feel your energy growing here you guys are, are in this queen of pentacles okay you're acting unbothered here i feel like at this point <clears throat> You've almost resided to the fact that you are good with or without this person. Um, sure, you would love for them to to come back and right some wrongs here um, and really, you know, have a second go with this and really make it what it could be here. Um, but you're not waiting, right? You're not waiting for them. Um, and they know that. This person knows that. Ace of Cups at the bottom and the Three of Swords. They, they're going to be heartbroken if you move on. I am going to tell you that. Uh, and that's really the fuel to the fire here for them to to do something. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Let me pull in that queen of swords really quick. Judgment. Yeah. It's now or never for this person. I feel like and for you, for you pile two, I feel like you are at that point of the judgment call here. You know, it's like, um, you either come in and do something here to transform this connection. Uh, or, or I am moving on. <laughs> queen of pentacles wanted to come back out. Ooh. Four of cups. Yeah. Yes. I mean, listen, you guys were tired of just sitting here, um, having them ignore this connection or not give to this. You made a judgment call. This person realizes why you've done it. And now it's on them to, to come back in and do something here. Nine of cups, 10 of pentacles at the bottom. Yeah. Some of you made a judgment call and you've been ignoring this person. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie here, pile two. Seems, seems like for some of you, that's the case. And you know what? It's exactly what it took for them to realize that you are their nine of cups, ten of pentacles, right? So I don't know. I mean, some of your cutoff game is pretty good. And it's exactly what this person needed uh, in order to wake up to the truth. Okay. <laughs> All right, my loves, I'm going to leave that here today. Um, I would love to hear if, if this resonated with any of you out there below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And if you're interested in personals, all of that is below. All right, my loves, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys. 
Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading. Today we're going to take a look and find out what your person is realizing about you now. Okay, so keep in mind this is going to be a general read, so if the first few cards come out and they are not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. Alright, let's go. We have Judgment. The King of Cups. Oh, the Magician. Okay. Let me pull in that Magician really quick before I say anything. But by the way, we do have two major Arcanas out already. So um, I feel like your person's definitely getting some kind of major, major realizations here about you, Pile 3. Let's see. Magician. Ooh. And the Wheel and the Two of Wands. I feel like this person knows that there's some sort of faded connection here with you. Okay? And for whatever reason, it feels like for some of them, they've put it off right with the two of wands like there was like this decision here um it's almost for some of you this is what they were manifesting was you and then they met you and they weren't ready so it's almost like they wanted to put off this manifestation because it wasn't the right time or something for them um but there's a lot of love here you know that i feel like maybe they were scared of with you uh clearly a judgment call for for judgment to come out you know, for the first card here, I feel like there's, um, there's something here. There's a big decision coming up, especially with the two of wands and the wheel. I'm just sensing decision time for somebody. I don't know. <laughs> um, we have three of wands at the bottom and the eight of cups. Ten of swords, five of cups. You know, we're kind of getting the same energy in all three piles. I'm gonna, gonna be honest here. There's something like a decision in the air here, right? Uh, some sort of faded connection between the two of you that this person has um, not really given to the way they should. They've almost put it off, it feels like. And they're realizing now that that uh, time is, is ticking by, right? Like this is the manifestation that they wanted is with you. Um, and you know what? The universe gives it to us. It may not be like, oh, the perfect time, right? But I mean, <laughs> do you take it or do you let it pass you by, right? It's kind of the energy here. All right, what's wrong with that King of Cups? There it is again, Eight of Cups. It's like this person just needs to go ahead and, and walk towards that Nine of Cups. I mean, you are the wish fulfillment. You are the manifestation here that they wanted. Um, okay, let me pull the last one. What's wrong with Judgment? Five of Cups. Okay. Well, pile three. I'm just going to say for some of you, either this person walked away or you did uh, because of it feels like a timing issue. Right person, wrong time. Again, the manifestation, but the wrong time. You know, it, it's kind of giving the universe mixed signals here. To be honest, pile three, your person um, is kind of realizing this now, and it might be a little too late for some of them. Um, okay, let me see. Let's what, What's read with judgment here? Three of Wands. Okay. Well, we see a lot of waiting and again, like future planning here, planning for the future. This person needs to make a move. And I feel like, again, it was just like not the right time for them or something, or maybe they had stuff going on, whatever it is. Again, I'm, I'm just getting that they, they, <laughs> they're realizing now what they've kind of done, right? That they, they told the universe one thing and here you came, but then they denied it. And now they're kind of in a, some of them are getting karma, karma, you know, honestly, like some of them are under judgment here because of this. Um, okay. King of cups. Yeah. Well, that's like I was just saying, feels like somebody might be go undergoing karma, uh, because again, they denied a gift from the universe that this person had asked for with this connection with you. I think they're realizing that pile three. And I don't know if your person's spiritual. I, I don't know. It feels like this person, they may have come into a string of bad luck here recently where they're just kind of realizing like, oh, this feels like it cannot be coincidental uh, because I feel like you are heavy on their mind, okay? And you walking away, this ending, whatever this was, it it's weighing heavy on them and I think they're connecting the dots here right? Um, that you were the manifestation they were asking for. And for a lot of them, they were selfish and they, they just ignored this or they tried to, again, cognitive dissonance here, knowing what this was, but acting like they didn't because they were too self-focused over here to give this the time and energy it needed, right? So the universe saw this and I'm telling you for a lot of you, because they waited here and they, they put this manifestation of theirs on hold with you, it's, it's kind of forcing them to dive into their feelings and reassess, you know, reassess themselves here. 
<laughs> that's a word. All right, the magician. Okay, the Ace of Swords, this person's getting the clarity here about this. They know that they're the ones that manifested this connection with you. Came in at the wrong time for them, and now, you know, they face the the possibility of you guys walking away for good, right? And the, I think the universe is trying to show them this through their karmic justice, right? Like they're, for a lot of them, they are having to sit here and watch you move on. Okay. And so that for them, uh, because they have all these emotions that were unexpressed, the, it, it is, it is that karma, right? It is that, um, they know who you are pile three and they know what they've done here, where they've dropped the ball. I think this person is being forced to reflect on this, um, and how they kept you guys waiting. Like looking back now, you know, it's like, t wake up, see what you've done here, right? Um, this was your, this was your wish. We gave it to you and, and you just, bleh, you know, ace of swords. Ten of wands. <clears throat> Death and the knight of cups. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For some of you, you did walk away. This person, uh, realized the truth too little too late you know it's been coming out in all three piles so if you're inclined it's it's similar energy i'm not gonna lie um i think it's just big shifts in the in the collective to be honest with you guys um and we are getting more people to the channel so it can be more of that collective energy right um yeah ten of wands and death so there's something here about transformation coming in they know what they need to do this person knows that they dropped the ball they face some karmic things here that they're just kind of going through because of this you know it's a burden here for them not to just do it already. Okay. It, it is. Um, okay. Let's see. Eight of cups. I knew it was going to, I, oh my gosh, I wish I would have said that guys. I knew it was going to be the, the queen of wands. I knew it was going to be you. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I think you just, I think, yeah, I think a lot of you walked away here or you're about to either way whatever this is, this person knows what they, they need to do here. Okay. They, they manifested this with you and then they, they just waited. They just sat there and watched and, and didn't do anything. Okay. Well, I, man, I'm going to start saying that, you know, and then I'll be wrong. Like honestly, probably 99% of the time, but I really should have said that guys. I don't know. Five of cups. <laughs> The nine of swords, yeah, this person's having anxiety. <clears throat> they know they let a good thing go. They let their wish fulfillment go, their manifestation go. Um, yeah, they feel the loss of you, pile three. I'm just going to say that. And I think the universe has been kind of pounding it into them here, um, in order for them to have this breakthrough. <laughs> it's like, this is what you were asking for. Hello. <laughs> it's like, we tried to give it to you. What did you do? Um, and now for a lot of you guys, I mean, you're just, you're kind of in this energy. And again, this is almost like their karma to watch you. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going through this glow up here, or you've got like passion projects that you're working on here. This person sees it and you're not giving the energy to them that you once did. Uh, and they feel you slipping away. Okay. They feel you slipping away because they sat here and waited, right? Again, letting a good thing go. Um, okay. Let's pull in some of these. Is that five of cups? King of Wands. Well, there's your counterpart, right? <laughs> this person is realizing that they literally, you are their manifestation. You are their soulmate. You are everything that they wanted. You are their match here with the King of Wands. And they, they, they dropped the ball. It's, it's plain and simple here. Pile three, what they're, what they're realizing here. Page of Swords and the Lovers. <clears throat> you know what? I feel like this person has done some research into the spiritual here with this connection now. Okay. They're getting some realizations through that, uh, because it's almost starting to click with them. Again, I think that they're associating this. You can call it karma. You can call it bad luck, whatever you want to do it. Just things aren't going right for them. And it's all in correlation to how they treated this connection with you. So for a lot of them, again, they are like, like, why is this happening? <laughs> you know? Um, and so they're starting to, to look into that. And I feel like a lot of them are getting the truths. They're getting that clarity as to why you guys walked away now um, and why the universe is making them kind of go through this and watch you guys have this glow up here while, while they are having to deal with all this BS on, you know, whatever it is they've got going on. <laughs> Page of Wands in the Hierophant. I was just saying this person is um, starting to tap into that spiritual, the spiritual side. And I think the universe has forced them to do this again. 
with this karma stuff that they are not they they weren't recognizing here they didn't recognize for a lot of them they did they it and it's almost like they didn't believe it like oh this person i've been manifesting and and they're here and it's not the right time for me though um so i'll just wait and they're starting to realize that you know what divine timing isn't our timing right so you know we take the opportunities that are presented to us or we lose them right you don't you don't get to just hold on to it and string it along. That's not how that's not how this works, right? So I think your person is definitely having um, a wake up call here, guys. <laughs> Three of Wands. Let's see. Three of Wands. It, okay. The Hierophant and the Five of Swords. This person sat here. They sabotaged a spiritual connection with you. Something that was sent to them from the divine. You know, now they're under judgment call. And now this person is having to sit with their feelings because a lot of you guys are out here doing your own thing and they're being forced to see the error of their ways. I don't know, pile three. They're having a lot of realizations about you. <laughs> oh, four of cups and judgment. I, I can't even make this up, guys. Again, they ignored this manifestation of theirs that the universe sent them through you in this connection. And now they are under judgment. I don't, I don't even, there's no other way to even read this, these cards here. <laughs> Literally. Uh, there's, there's none. Okay. All right. Well, interesting read. Um, Queen of Wands. Let's see. What's up with you guys? King of Cups. This person's in love with you. Oh, again, a lot of you are out here doing your own thing and this person's forced to even fall deeper in love with you from the sidelines and not, you know, um, the fool and the queen of wands ah oh, okay well listen for some of you too i'm not even gonna lie this just came through you guys might be meeting somebody here you could be meeting a king of cups okay somebody who is going to offer you a new beginning here this person is so scared of that i don't know you may already have this this other it could be a water sign um I'm just saying that's a, that's a layer here, but this is them, honestly. And I think it, it's playing off that energy too. If you guys walking away here, them being forced to sit here and fall in love with you without, you know, they know they missed their shot here or they need, the, there's something here. They didn't take a leap on this connection when it was presented to them. Four of pentacles and page of cups, right? They held back. They, they gave the page of cups here. There's something here too. If you guys are in no contact, this person sees you moving on. They want to reach back out here. They want to stop you from walking away, even though they're sitting in karma right now. You know, they don't care. <laughs> it's eight of pentacles and the five of pentacles. They need to do something, right? They want to put in the work here to, to come back in before you guys move on. You know, I think they've got a healthy dose of karma already. And I think it's, and that's why we see the ace of swords here. They're having all these realizations. The magician and the five of wands. This person, oh my gosh. Okay. All right, universe. I get it. Yeah, we get it. This person um, effed up their manifestation with you. And now they're being forced to sit back and, and look at it. Okay, so that's kind of where they are. And uh, pile three, I'm going to say major realization. So out of all three piles, I think this person's really... Um, being called to wake the f up here about, about this okay um all right my loves well this was definitely a pretty specific message so i would love to hear from you guys if this resonated and if you guys um enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and if you're interested in personals all that is below all right my loves i will talk soon bye pile three